I don't really know where to even begin with the last episode. Absolutely just gutted, honestly. Absolutely gutted. Anyway, the journey continues. Uh, there was a few quests we I want to do first, basically, before we do the Unity quest. Uh, let's go Power From Beyond. Follow a distortion on the scanners again. So I'm guessing there must be not a set of calls for that. Yeah, sometimes with these powers, we just walk in, <laughs> just like, to stroll in and get a new power. Sometimes it's a little bit more tricky. So this was a power that was uh, scanned by the star before the whole like events of the previous episodes. So this is not like, a, yeah, it's not a new one, basically. All right, where do we begin? I'm guessing it's up there, right? <laughs> That's my guess. Follow the distortion. Yep. Not a massive surprise there. There's something going on over there. Temperature minus 40. Definitely leave that suit on. That's for sure. Um, also, if we can turn my lights on. There we go. It's pretty dark down here. Uranium! Am I just standing on this? Apparently. That must be it, right? Will the star ball turn up? They can't be particularly pleased with me just turning up and taking these powers, right? No, no way. No way. Not a chance. Yeah, this game is actually, I thought, I've never really had this issue with a Bethesda game where I haven't been able to work out what I want to do in terms of my skills. There's so many options and so many skills and then you rank up and it's really, really difficult. And as far as I can tell, at the moment at least, there's not a way to like respec your skills yet. I'm sure there is. Um, I haven't found it yet, but I'm, I'm sure there is. That's quite useful. So if I want to mine, it will get out the cutter for me. That's useful. All right. It will like pre-select it for me. Nice. Yeah, I wonder what this power's going to be. The last one wasn't too exciting. It's useful, but it wasn't that exciting. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out. I do not think I could tire of seeing these magnificent structures. Yeah, they're pretty incredible, aren't they? How do we get in? This way? Can't see any life forms. Oh, so we found the door. Let me in. What power are we about to acquire? Let's find out. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, there we go. I'm a coming. A slightly improved booster, which I hope will help. So floaty. Apparently, when freezing to death, one may experience a warm feeling. The last one. Here it is. I would prefer not to verify that first hand. I already got Sarah. Not that's bad, but What's the next one. Oh, it's done. We're done it. Oh, haven't done this in first person yet. Ah, okay, does that automatically. Give me your powers. Oh, it <laughs> it's far too easy this game. What are we gonna unlock next? It's almost like we're sort of finishing off a puzzle. It shows it in. Does it show it now? Yeah, look. Alright, what new power do we have? Is it this? 
Sense star stuff. Bind yourself to the particles of creation. Sensing the life forms of any human, alien, or starborn. Well, that sounds pretty good. I guess. Oh, one sec. Can we use the... The essence to... Improve the power of regeneration. Which is what I just did. Can't seem to spend it again, though. Ten undiscovered temples. So ten more powers to go. Ah! What the hell? Damn it. Where'd he go? He's now can sense where he is. I just fell off. What a loser. Damn. Jesus. Oh, hit. Finally. Let's see where he went. So yeah, so I guess it's like a sort of sensing of ability, isn't it? Um, also, by the way, we have, we have two skill points, which I almost completely forgot about. So I'm tempted to go for... Um, maybe some improvements on the tech side of things. Yes. Oh, engines. Unlocks top speed. More top speed. Yes. <laughs> Why not? And this will also improve the shield systems to keep us nice and alive and well. Yeah, that's a good good couple of additions. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's jump back to the ship. And I believe we're going to talk to Vladimir about maybe finding some more temples. Maybe. Let's see how it goes. We do have a bounty, which I'm guessing I will have to pay. Yeah. One sec. Let me quickly save this before we get attacked. <laughs> Don't want to die. Oh, except. Yep, it's fine. Oh, come on, man. It's an accident. Standing down. Great. Lovely. It was an accident. In the last episode, when we were getting attacked by this, the Starborn, I may have accidentally hit a... Yeah. Oh, well. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? Come on, man. I still don't understand why he trusts the criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. This sucks. <laughs> this is... Let me go! Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. Come on, man. The prisoner is ready, sir. It was a complete mistake. It was an accident. I think that's when it happened anyway. I think I might have accidentally shot a pedestrian, basically. An NPC. I hope you're comfortable. We have a oh, lot to discuss. Feel great. <sighs> can I just, yeah, can I just pay the fine and go? Not this time. Uh... So let me see what we're working with here. Just a small fine. It was like 500. Seems you had a bit of a reckless past. You always fancied yourself as a wild one, eh? We can work with that. I also see that you mined on Vectera. And now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crossing this. That does pretty much cover it. Good. You'll find that I'm a stickler for details. And I, I need that. to discover that your file is incomplete. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce Can I go now? myself. Oh, man. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> I know you kidnap people. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. Yes, well, this is your only opportunity to keep yourself out of jail. So I suggest you change your attitude. Ooh. UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you You're get gonna the picture. You're going to ask for help, aren't you? What's that got to do with me? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. I'm not going to deal with them. <sighs> if whatever you're selling lets me off the hook, then I'm listening, I guess. 
I don't know where this is going. Agree. I don't remember asking how you felt about anything. <laughs> We've been prodding at the Grims. Let me just pay the fine. Trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. <sighs> Got undercover? Really? Maybe you should give up. So you want me to risk my neck and go undercover? Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UCC Steph, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. <sighs> I mean, what do we do here? Yeah, how about the code of ethics? I agree. It doesn't sound like I've got much of a choice, really. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. <laughs> so, what do you say? Just using me. You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? Hmm. So it's time to go to jail, honestly. Sure, go on then. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. Looks like I had a massive fine Strongly as well. I suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. We're doing this right now. This was not why I planned. Deep cover. Oh, great. All right, Fantastic. let's go. Fantastic. Oh, I like so, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Going in all alone, infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Still, we have much it makes choice, you wonder, I? especially with the stories that go around. Yes? Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Lovely. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I couldn't. But I Lovely. wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time. Right? It was a small bounty. Why is everyone giving me like the whole like treatment? I get it. Made one mistake, okay? I was trying to save New Atlantis. I'm pretty sure that's when it happened. Unless it was because I stole stuff. Which is... Fair, I guess. Hello. Where are we going? Come on, hurry up. Bring all day. We're going to get some new powers. Is this the right, all right. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Right. Up to Ops we go. Excuse me. Hello. Just the right way. I think this is the right way. Unless it's... So they go the wrong way? Eh? That's the docking bay, apparently. I think this is the right way. Pardon. Yes. Where's what? our man? I think. Ah, there you are. Yes, yeah, I'm here. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center, dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Attack. Oh, tempting. And this is me shooting my way off this prison ship. Boom! I'm so tempting. Uh, you're going to need more than one ship to eliminate the entire fleet. In That's true. Anyway, impressive ship. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Ooh. Get me in the room with them, and I'll talk to them into anything. I, I can persuade them. Good. I have just yes, the right I have place good persuasion. to start. 
Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Sounds simple enough. Where exactly did you get this contraband? <laughs> That's a very good question. Is it, Aurora's not allowed off ne uh, Neon, is it? Anyway. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Point the way and I will get it done. Um, by the way, would you guys like me to go undercover at some point in future videos? Let me know. Even I think this is optional, going. as far as Good. I know. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I will do my best. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. I, I'll, I'll be fine. I can't make any promises. I don't want promises. I'm just asking you to think. Anyway, I think it's time to hand you, you over to shoot Lieutenant someone, Doffert. Definitely. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck. Lovely. Well, where's the Lieutenant? Okay. Hello. Uh -oh. Yeah, would you guys like me to go undercover? To take down the Crimson Fleet? The pirates once and for all? Let me know in the comments. If you guys would like to see that. Deep cover, there we go. That needs to be corrected, actually. Like, clearly I, I can't get out of here without speaking to the Lieutenant. So why did it just change my quest? It's like, go back to your ship. I, I can't go back to my ship. It's locked and I can't get to it. Anyway, Lieutenant, All right. hello. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. Yep. While you're working undercover, Root. it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? This is really annoying. This is like a real inconvenience. Yep, yeah, sure. Well, you better. <laughs> Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Sounds like you have a personal vendetta against the Crimson Fleet. I'm simply trying to understand my task. Yep, definitely touched a nerve. It's not you, it's the Crimson Fleet. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Okay, I'll bring as much evidence as I possibly can. That's all can. we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement Ooh. for each piece of evidence that you return. Ooh. It's compensation for your efforts. Okay. That's very, very generous. Thank it's you. It's not generous. It's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. Oh boy. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. All right. Thank you very much. We'll be here if you need us. Again, I don't think we have to do that straight away. Is there anything else I can answer before you proceed to the next phase of your mission? No, I'm good, thank you. Excuse me. Yeah, I believe we can go off and do what we was intending to do on this episode. Gain the powers. I think we can. I don't think we get in trouble, hopefully. To the cockpit. Well, let's go back to the eye and let's work out if we have... Are we already here? Oh. We're already in the location, apparently. Um, yeah, see if we can find any leads about potential new powers. Still quite a few to find. 
thought that was the um, the Millennium Falcon there for a second. Wow. Right, so we are hidden. Where is the star? It's behind me, right? Over there, there it is, I think. Guessing that's it. So we should have improved engine power. Apparently, it does look like there's a there's another bar, and there should be a better shield. We should have a better shield, basically. Vladimir, I'm here to see you, brother. Do you have any leads for me? I feel like we need some more powers, please. This never minded the solitude before, but chasing more ghosts than usual. Every noise seems to set the blood running. Um, I was hoping you could point me to an artifact temple. Got one. Yes. I'd go into the oh, astronomical we love you, Dad, the and data with you, but clear as day just to point you right to it. Exactly. Do that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Yes, another power. Yes, 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 yes. Circles. And let's jump, baby. Let's go. Ship does need a repair, actually. There we go. Alrighty then. Let's land. I am ready. So we can do a scan again. Find the building, basically. And um, get there as soon as possible. No doubt we're going to be attacked by the starboard. But I'm ready. I am ready. Very much last words. Sounds like the moon. Ooh. It's gotta be over there, surely, right? It's gotta be. But even need to scan. Oh, extreme solar radiation on this planet. Oh boy. We're we gonna be okay. Yeah, there's an extreme temperature. We can try and get there quite quickly. I can then worry about repairing myself afterwards. That's gotta hurt though. Extreme heat conditions. Probably should be a little bit more prepared, but yeah, we're just gonna try and sprint there as soon as possible. No time for mining or extracting or whatever we want to do. Just want to get there, get it done and leave. Damn, look at this one. What the hell is that? Sounds like someone landed here, potentially. That sounded like a starship. Let me in. Yeah, we're definitely going to visit the Dotter after this. Let me in! I need powers! Need to absorb all of the powers. Definitely have a favourite so far. This sort of anti-gravity one was definitely my favourite. Um, the other ones are still useful, but... Yeah, they're just different, I guess you could say. Oh. There we go. This one. I wonder if Vladimir's got any more of these. Ah. more after this. 
no more powers. I didn't even know there was one power in this game. Full release. I've not heard anything about the powers. I'm sure it's probably leaked somewhere, but I haven't really been looking for leaks, so. Yeah, the pieces are starting to come together, aren't they? Careful here. Maybe it's gonna help with, help us with our radiation. That'd be nice. What what, what, what do you get? Gravity waves. Gravity waves is definitely new. Emit a gravitational force strong enough to propel. All my, oh my god! It's like that thing from Skyrim. What's it called? I forgot the name of it. No. What's it called? Uh, I forgot. What's it called? Oh, that, that push ability in Skyrim. That's really gonna annoy me now. Really gonna annoy me. We have no ability there. We're we gonna get attacked or are we good? Oh boy, yeah. Of course we are. I think you might have missed. <laughs> Where do you go? He's still going? I'm so confused. Talk to Vladimir to locate temples. There's more temples? I've lost them. Hey, where'd I go? Try and kill him or there just let them get away. Where'd you go? I see lasers down here. I cannot wait so floaty down here. I think I might be stuck. I think he's stuck in this. Eat this. Ugh. Hey, this Your abilities are <laughs> truly amazing. Thank you. I don't know where he is right now. I'm pretty sure you're stuck, mate. Pretty sure. Oh, nice, I'm stuck. Oh, you fell over. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Ta! <laughs> You suck. Right, my weapons suck though. Right. Let's look at something out a bit more juicy. I can actually pack a punch. Uh, hunting rifle, that will do. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, get in. Loser! Right, let's try and get back to the ship as soon as possible. Please. It really wants me to do that that deep cover mission, which is weird. Oh man. Take me back. Vladimir, we're back. <laughs> we want more powers. I feel like I'm being so greedy right now. So so greedy. We do have a skill point to spend again. And I'm tempted to go for energy weapon systems. So energy ship weapons have a 10% increased damage, which is lovely. And Cost 50% less targeting mode as well. So if you want to do like a targeting mode, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, yeah, that sounds like a no-go to... Not a no-go, like a must. Definitely want to improve my tech at the moment. I feel like the ship being so important. The fact we need to defend this ship. We need to be on it. We need to be on it. Vladimir! Been washing red here and there all Whoa, over the station. Jesus. Scared Grim me. work. The spanner's torque is what the eye needs now. We'll fix our good as new. Good. Glad to hear it. Got one. I'd go into the astronomical charting data with you, but clear as day just to point you right to it. <laughs> he knows what I want. He knows what I want. We haven't had much of a chance to talk to Andrea. Uh, must admit, I'm still getting over the events of the last episode. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we should definitely have a chat. The star station sure has been through a lot. It definitely has. Yes, of course. Let's ask some qu personal questions. What's your favorite place in the Settle Systems? <laughs> you might find it absurd, but... Oh, the Lodge. Honestly, the Lodge. Fair enough. I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, the present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like home 
There are worlds beyond count out there, but that feeling is rare and precious. Do you ever want to captain your own ship, potentially? I have done so in the past, Ooh. when necessary, but I am not the best pilot, and oh. it seems prudent <laughs> to apply my skills where they are most useful. Lately, that means aiding you. And that, I think, has worked out very well. It definitely has. What do you like to do in your free time? This is very, like, casual conversation, isn't Honestly, it? Honestly, I... I cannot answer that. Oh. So many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has... It's been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training. Though, I suppose that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. Well, that's all I can ask. That's a nice smile. Thank you for asking. All right. Let's do this. Um, let's continue. Let's go and get some new powers! <laughs> this might turn into like the power episode. It is good might. to be back in our own ship. It is. I do. Look, that's weird, that, isn't it? The, the stuck thing. I'm pressing forward. It eventually seems to work. Hopefully that's ironed out before we uh before full release. At least. I was beginning to wonder if you hibernate. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, heroes don't need to sleep, do they? I must admit, I can probably run okay. I think I'm probably like six, five hours maybe. But yeah, I do I do like my sleep. Alright, anyway. Let's go. Let's find some more powers. Yes. You ain't stopping me. On my little adventures. One sec. Come, we can't set a course. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's because it's docked. Ah. Let's undock them. Bye bye. That procedure probably takes quite a while, unless they've come up with some like futuristic technology to um, help them out. Like docking is normally quite a long process, actually. Yeah, the extra fuel we put on quite early into the series, I think, has definitely helped us with uh, exploration. Never really jumped into any issues with anything, really. Oh, something's in trouble. Failure to communicate. I may come back and save you. <laughs> if I get a chance. Oh, this doesn't look particularly friendly. Ooh! Oh my, it's gone oh, quite grey all of a sudden. I believe we actually have two powers to go and find. I think so. Just let me go over there. Let's have a quick look. I'm guessing that's it, right? Oh, heat again. Oh, it is over there. Yeah, heat might become an issue. Again, there was some distortion over there. Oh, that must be it, surely, right? I'm sure I picked up some... Uh, Activity on the scanner. A little lead. What if I do? It must be the right way. It's got to be. What does your scanner reveal? What if I can send out the crew? So maybe go and do some exploring for me. Oh, one sec. It was over there. Ah. Going the wrong way. Maybe? It might be that tower over there. Let's have a look. Yep, I'm pretty sure it is. I was like, what's that? <laughs> oh, God, Scott. You're absolute idiot. 
Unbelievable. <laughs> Plutonium! These are pretty deadly, uh, deadly chemicals. Could definitely do some damage. Calm down a little bit. Can we go the right way? I hate nothing worse than going the wrong way in a video game. I, I detest it. I need to be going the right way. I have to. Oh. Pick up a few issues along our little journey. Is why we're in a space suit, though. Oh, it's definitely over there. It's like a very tiny window. We are quite far away still. So, oh, one sec. It is over there. God damn. Is there two powers on this planet? I was going the wrong way. Oh, shoot. Andrea's still behind me? Yeah. She's fine. Keep up. Did it say there's no direct path to get inside? So that's what I just said. Seems to be sending me back out. Maybe around here? We found the entrance. Let me in. Another power. We are going up in the world, aren't we? We ain't messing about. <clears throat> it's what we do. Fuck it, should almost show us what the ability does like an example of like a, a good time to use that power as well that's quite cool it tends to just like give it to you and you've just got to work it out for yourself right what power is this going to be is there another one around there is so that's super late though yep Spinning. Ooh. And this never gets boring. Like you get so excited about whatever new power you're gonna get. It's so good. So good. So good. I just feel so powerful now with abilities that I can just use whenever I want. Constantly learning new skills about our shit. How to use weapons, how to be. This is what constellation has been for. Oh, oh, someone just arrived. No, that's fine, don't worry. Right, power, what do we get? Uh, ooh. Bend time and glimpse the future. See the path some will walk. And words they may say. What? How would that work? Is that useful? Bend time and glimpse the future. See in the path some will walk and the words they may say. Maybe that's more of like um to help us with conversation, maybe. I don't know. That is really weird. Really weird. I don't know how useful that's going to be, honestly. I don't know. I'm not sure. This very, very weird. Ah! Kind of power. I'm glad it's in your hands. Get him! Are you dead? 
things. I wish we had more time to explore. Ooh. Yeah, we should definitely get back to the ship. <laughs> it's too hot here. It's just too hot. It's like when you go on holiday and it's just like unbearable. It must be absolutely sweating buckets. Back to the ship where the aircon is on. If we feel nice and comfortable. Um, do you want to double check um, if we have any research? I really want to do some more research. It can be hard to find particular items that you really, really, really want. It can be difficult. Particularly the gun mo mob, mobs, mobs, mods <laughs> is what I'm trying to do. Uh, that's currently blocked. So weapon engineering could be quite a good one to go for, actually, in terms of a skill. It looks like we may have grip and stop. Is definitely doable. Definitely doable. All right, let's do it. Nice, nice. But that is currently blocked. Lovely. Okay, we need some more sealant. So this is for the optics and the lasers. What about a helmet mod? Can we? Oh, we can get that as well. Polymer. Oh, okay. We do have enough. Yes. Of course, XP for that as well. So we can now have a mod for our helmet. Space suit design level one. So there's so many skills I want. Actually ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. Old Earth cuisine. Do we have a... We've only got one bread. So that's not going to work. Nothing much to do for now. The rest of these are blocked. What, what is this? Manufacturing. I'll do that one. Adaptive frames. I know we have those. I know we have iron. We don't have enough iron? Do we not? I need some more seed in as well. Yeah, there's so many skills I want. Oh, jeez. It's kind of overwhelming, actually. So I'm guessing you probably worked out the theme of this episode. We're going for another power. <laughs> Uh, there's actually two powers on this one system, one galaxy. Which is kind of weird, right? It is very unusual. Let's go and do some Another scanning. Planet without native life. All we need to concern ourselves with then is other visitors. Ah. We know who that might be. Oh, freezing rain. Oh, lovely. How delightful. So, do, 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 follow the distortion signatures. Do we have any anything of where that might be? I think it's over there. That's what it's hinting at. It could be that tower there, but. I'm guessing it's hinting that way, so let's go that way. rain does not look pleasant that's the thing with other planets it's the not necessarily we're getting there that's the issue it's the well that is quite a big issue but also the environment the atmosphere just isn't habitable you just can't live there you can't walk on the surface it's just not possible i know i'm an expert on space i'm not really have definitely sort of fallen in love with space a bit with the whole like SpaceX program and the the Starship program. Um, yeah, still definitely not an expert. <laughs> oh, found some copper. Don't mind if I do, mate. For a bit of iron, actually. I said so that could be added to my. Is that just water? Frozen water, I guess. Yeah, minus 53 degrees. 56 degrees. Sorry. Gold? That one if I do? You can see why humans are probably fighting over certain planets as well. Yeah. Because <laughs> obviously certain planets have resources that are probably worth a lot of money and some planets are just dead planets There's nothing on them apart from maybe like some lead <laughs> so who wants lead on a planet 
Hence, conflict. Conflict wherever we go. In some ways, we're the virus of this universe. <laughs> or at least the planet Earth. We're the virus. We're the stupid people doing TikTok dances and... I don't know. Anyway. See me, this one quite far away. It's not particularly easy to get to. Hope we're going the right way, that's for sure. Hope it's not too far away. Uh, it looks like we can get in. We're getting there, like halfway maybe. Just a little bit of a journey. Look at that sun. I still really... I'm, I haven't done it yet. The video might be out already, actually. I really want to go to Earth. And I want to go and test out the boundary system. I want to see low temperatures do not interfere how far with we can walk. Because they did say it was sort of endless. It was like a whole planet you could just walk along. Sounds like, sounds like they've maybe backtracked on that a little bit. As far as I know. I think that's the place. Ooh. Does this place look different or is it me? It looks more modern. I'm quite sure. Interesting. Don't really know why I want water. There's also a lot going on on this planet. Lots of like outposts, unknown locations. Is there an entrance? Made it. Another power is about to be gained. Come to me. I wonder if you can complete the game without getting these powers. Do you need to get all the powers? Is that like an essential part of getting to the end of the game? I don't know. I don't know. Let's begin. A quick save here. I can't imagine the Starborns being happy with me just getting these powers. I really can't. They're still going to try and use me. She definitely wants a bit of Eh! What else? Oh. Up, up, up! What are we gonna get now? Help the papa. We tell I'm missed by she's not him. I'll take one. <laughs> I would. Let me have one. Once you get all the powers. Can't wait to actually see the meaning of this. I wish we had more time to explore. Oh, hello. Your abilities are such a gift. Your enemies might be free. Mate, I couldn't even see you. And I owned your ass. Idiot. Anyway, what power did we get? Ooh, Crater's Peace. Feel your foe with the silent calm of the universe, compelling them to temporarily abandon their weapons. What? That's crazy. That is bonkers. I like that one. You go, oh no, my brain. I feel so pleasant and useful. So where is the option to, we wanna get Starship design. That's what I was sort of going towards, but I also want to do mods to my weapons and... Well, there it is. Weapon engineering. Ah. Oh. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Ooh. 
increase grab jump range. I haven't really don't really need that, do I? The surveying could be tempting. Or we stick with just trying to improve the ship for now. Uh, ballistic weapon systems. So then we unlock this, which I'm very excited for. I am pretty excited for this. Mm. All right, we're doing this one. So, I find this game so hard when it comes to skills. So you guys know what we do by now. We land, we scan, and we find, and then we kill. <laughs> That's pretty much what happens. A little bit repetitive, I guess you could say. Um, exit the ship. But I thought, no, as we've got more powers to stands. try and find, why not? One less thing to worry about, I suppose. Is it over there? Does it set an objective as to where it actually is? Because I don't think it's equipped as a quest right now. Where could it be? I think it's over there. That could be there. Getting quite a bit of disturbance wherever I go, honestly. Hmm. Maybe it's over there? That could be it. Altair... What's that? Altair 4C? Yeah, I swear every planet in this system has some kind of power on it. Or the ability to get a power, at least. So when it's slightly sort of lit up on the floor and I'm scanning, that's basically a resource that we can dig for. So if we put an outpost here, I could basically mine nickel if I wanted to. At least that's, I believe, how it works. Yeah, that is the right way. Whoop. Been a very productive episode, though. I don't know if all these counts as... Well, I don't know if this counts as separate mission. I guess I could do not It comes under the same category. Yeah, we're just going about getting these powers. Like, I mean, if they're there and available, why would I not go and get them? I might as well. I might as well. It's so strange to think that this could literally be millions of years old. Could be. Predating all human civilization. Really could. I still really miss Sarah. I didn't honestly expect Sarah to die. Was it even something that crossed my mind, honestly? It does feel really weird that that did happen. It really sucks. It'd be really intriguing, actually. Did that... If you got to that specific point in the game, and did you have another character die? Did you manage to save Sarah? Like, I'd be really intrigued. Um, let me know in the comments. I know people have been playing through this game so quickly. A lot faster than I am. Here we go again. I'll skip past this bit. You guys know what happens. All right. Be done. What are you gonna give me? Give me something good. Been some really obtuse, random powers that we've got so far. Once I'm not necessarily too often. I don't know how useful they can be. This is what constellation has been for. Right, what we got? Show me what you got. <gasps> Grav dash. Now that could be useful. This place, the starboard. Ooh. All right. That could be very useful. I see him. Is that guardian? What is it? Even though I'm here? Empire? Ha! I've got to try this out. Whoop! Does it work? No, press the wrong button, that's why. Does it, does it not work? I'm pressing it. Weird, yeah, it doesn't seem to work. What? That kind of sucks. 
grav dash. So let's just push myself forward. I'm pretty sure that should. There we go. Hey! Whoop. Good job. That's a pretty. So can only go. Is it just forward? Yeah, I think I believe it's just forward. But it does seem to like push them away a little bit. It does damage as well. Okay, not bad, not bad. Quite like that one. All right, <laughs> does Vladimir have any more? We won't do any more in this episode because it has been absolutely insane so far. We may come back to these. But yeah, we've got a whole bunch of powers that I'm excited to use. Let's go back to Vladimir. And let's um, see what he's got to say for himself. Oh, he's done a pretty good job so far. <laughs> he's found me quite a few powers, I can't complain. Vladimir, I'm very thankful. Been washing red here and there all over the station. Oh. Grim work. That is not a job anyone wants to do. Can you talk to me now? He, just, he does seem a bit Never down. Never minded the solitude before, <laughs> but chasing more ghosts than usual. Every noise seems to set the blood running. So he's not really enjoying being here anymore, is he? Which is understandable, after what happened. Lucky I noticed the pattern in one of those artifacts you pulled out. Ooh. Here. We've got another one we can go to? There's another power? This is absolutely mad. This is actually mad. But we're going to pause it there. It's been a very, very productive episode. Tons of powers gained. Um, which ones I'm going to be using day to day? I, I don't know. But, yeah. Pretty exciting. See you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching and bye-bye.